Hey yo, what is good ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Chad bringing y'all another video and we out here in the cold. This is going to be a different video than what I normally do um, because today I am doing a video on my new car I got about maybe two to three weeks ago. Um, I got the Subaru W, the 2022 Subaru W. Um, this is it right here. Very nice car. I really do like it very nice try not to get my license plate but I'll show you guys the back and cover up the license plate there we go and yeah this car is just it's beautiful dog I really love this purchase be kind of going through like what I paid for it basically why I bought it um, so I currently drive a 1999 C230 um, compressor Mercedes and you know just being a 1999 I'm recording this out here and it's like it's probably 10 degrees bro honestly but I have the 1999 C230 Mercedes and in all honesty the Mercedes is a very good car like I would not say oh my Mercedes is just bad my Mercedes is bad no the Mercedes is a good car and when I say it's a good car, I've had my Mercedes since I was 15. Um, let me go ahead and set this up real quick. Hold on. Yeah, so I've had my Mercedes since I was 15. And I've had no problems with it. People said, oh, it's too fast for them. Um, my Mercedes goes like 185 horsepower. Um, yeah, that's the horsepower for it. People say, oh, it's going to be too fast for him. He's going to crash. He's going to do blah, blah, blah. And in actuality, I haven't done any of that in the Mercedes. The Mercedes got me from point A to point B. But, you know, being an old car, I was just thinking, you know, I do want a new car. And, you know, all glory to God for allowing me to get a new car. Because without my new job um, doing IT, I wouldn't be able to get a new car. Not even going to lie to you guys. But I was really going back and forth in my head between... This Subaru 2022 Subaru WRX, the Honda Civic SI, and the Acura Integra. Now, the Honda Civic SI, really good car. And all these cars that I'm naming, um, that I just named, they're all stick shift. I've never driven a stick shift before in my life. So that's just a disclaimer before, you know, you wanna, you're thinking about buying any of these. They do come in automatic, but I wanted a stick shift, even though I've never driven a stick shift ever like ever i've never owned a stick shift never driven a stick shift um and all the cars i was looking at were stick shifts the honda civic si it's a good car um it's a little it's bigger than this actual subaru i like the honda civic si the only difference is the horsepower wasn't where i wanted it i think the honda civic si's horsepower is like 200 um and that's just a little bit more than my mercedes the subaru wrx is 275 it's all-wheel drive it's smaller um, more compact and I really do like that a thousand percent better I remember when we went test driving cars um, my dad he was test driving them hold on somebody's calling me. hold on so when we were um, test driving cars right I have my I know this is gonna sound crazy but I had my dad test drive the car for me and based on the feeling of the ride or me sitting in the passenger seat was like me making my decision and the honda civic si was like you know what that's pretty good you know we started driving i was like okay the horsepower this the gear shift he said was short it's just like one two three four five six and it's smooth but i didn't really like the infotainment system and the honda civic si was just boring like the inside of the honda civic si was boring it was like a boring ride even the honda civic just like sport not even the si just honda civic sport sport touring they were just boring and i honestly couldn't actually find my way to make it to an acura dealership which the acura dealership um there was one close to me but i didn't start actually looking at the acura until i thought that the elan i mean not elantra the hyundai not hyundai the honda civic was boring i wanted a hyundai elantra for the longest i was going to get an elantra in but i was like eh, i don't really know and um i looked at the toyota camry as well but that felt like a family car like i have 
two kids that I had to go pick up and take them to practice or something. You know, I'm literally only 24, so I wanted something that was sporty, that was customizable, and has some horsepower because I want to go. I mean, I'm not trying to get any tickets or nothing, but your boy wants to be able to drive, you feel me? So I ended up landing on the Subaru WRX. Um, I got it for, the MSRP for it is around about 34K. Um, I ended up getting it for about 32. Shout out to, you know, Subaru of Kennesaw dealership um, here in Georgia. Um, they did hook me up. Um, the price I pay per month, I'm not going to tell you guys the exact price I pay per month. I just know that it is a really reasonable and nice price I pay per month. Um, and my APR, I ended up getting it for 3.9%. So I looked at this as a, a W, W like 3.9 percent apr if you pay in anything if you're if your interest rate is anything above five you're getting scammed you know the 4.9 you know i can see it you know but when you're in the twos to the threes yes and this was without any co-sign or anything this was all legit me this is my very first car purchase my parents bought me my mercedes this subaru i did it all myself um my credit is good my credit is actually pretty excellent um, and yeah, I just did it with my own income, my own monthly payments, got my APR where I want it. And you know, I, I, I am going to say I'm proud of myself. You know, I'm proud of myself. Now, um, let me actually switch to show you guys the inside of the car. A bit of the inside, as you see, this is the Subaru and I got to clean my car. Cause look, it's already getting dirty. I don't like that. I don't like that, but you got your Subaru. Let me actually let the seat back some so I can get in the car and talk. So you got your pedal shifters. Um, basically, you know, your clutch, your brake, your gas. I still got the plastic on mine because I was just trying to figure out how to drive it. So for a little minute, um, I wasn't actually driving the car except for I'd come home and practice. And say about stick shifts or manuals, six speeds, whatever you want to call them. It is different to drive. Like my brain... My, okay, the hardest part about driving stick is leaving first gear, and my brain couldn't actually formulate, how am I supposed to leave first gear? And it wasn't till about the third time I went test driving with my mom and I think my brother, or just my mom, and she was like, you know, you gotta, as you pushing down the gas, you're easing off the clutch. And so I was doing it, just trying to do it, just doing it, if that makes sense. But it wasn't until I realized, I said, okay, Chad, what are your feet doing? And then when I did it with my feet and just imagine in my head, okay, come off the clutch, gas down, it makes perfect sense and I can drive it. Which I just got back from driving to the mall, um, about like 45 minutes to an hour away. And it was, you know, piece of cake. It was easy. So I'm really good to drive this on my own. Now, I told myself I was going to be driving this before the new year, and I really am. But back to the inside of the car. So you have everything here, you know. You got the Subaru symbol. You got your speedometer, your infotainment system, gear shift, six gears. You know, it even has the handbrake. I know a lot of people um, have been saying, like, oh, like, a lot of cars have that little push parking brake. Subaru has the handbrake. I like this. I'm not a stick shift driver, but this just feels more fun. You know, you got your glove box, glove, you know, compartment, seats, as well as the back seats, which is a lot of space in the back. Um, let me show you guys the back, and I'll even pop the trunk as well, show you guys the inside of the trunk. And this is really so I can, if anybody's thinking about buying a 2022 Subaru WRX, you know, you most definitely. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, this is the back. It doesn't have any vents or anything back here. It does have the charger part. But my brother, whenever we turn on the heat or the air, he feels it right away. So that's a plus as well. And then the trunk, it is a, really a lot of trunk space. It doesn't look like it on camera all that much. Um... And just in case you haven't seen the back, that's what the back looks like. But it's a lot of trunk space. I would say you could put like one suitcase, probably two suitcases, some backpacks and stuff. And these are some little mats I have that I have to put in the car um, that have WRX on there. My mom and I, at the same time I bought this one, because this is the premium. Man, it's cold. Hold on. I got to get back in the car. So at the same time I bought this premium, let me switch. Hold on. 
So at the same time I bought this um, WRX, my mom bought um, a Subaru WRX as well. I got the premium stick shift. She got the GT automatic. And with her automatic, she has like, it's like an eight speed automatic. It's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and she go fast in it. Um, the GT comes with a lot more features. I have nice features on mine as well. It would take me a minute to actually go through all of them um, to really, you know, give you guys the full picture. But what I can do here is I'll start up the car so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Um, hopefully it's not too much wind noises and stuff like that, but I'll start it up to let you guys hear what it sounds like Show you guys what everything looks like on in the inside and then yeah, so hold on I don't know if this is too far away for you guys to hear the sound, but I'll, I'll try it anyway little cladding that they um, put on there. I know a lot of people are saying with the new Subaru WRX, they don't really like it. I love it. The only thing I would probably do is maybe paint it glossy black or paint it the same color as my car, but I love it. And yeah, right now, this is what the inside looks like. Um, you have these little here things, so you could change that up top, see the different modes. As you see, I've already put some miles on it. Um, I think it gets pretty good miles per gallon, even though it does get about like, I would say average, it's showing up here, average is like, I don't know, um, 20.5, but I think for the most part, I get pretty good miles per gallon. It takes premium just like my Mercedes is right there, but yeah, um, this is what the infotainment looks like. It is a little dusty right now, but you guys get the picture. Um, it does come with Apple CarPlay, so if I plug up my CarPlay, um, let me see here. Well, actually, I don't have my phone on me, but if I do plug up my CarPlay, it will show the CarPlay. Um, it does have the middle console as well, and this is one of these weird middle consoles. I don't know how to show it. There you go. So you can push it back, like pushing this, it'll push down, or you could just lift it up. I don't really understand what that's the point of. I don't, I don't get it, but you know, maybe it's cool to have. Like I said, you got the gear shifter, your handbrake, and yeah, so yeah, it's pretty much a good car. So yeah, man, like I was saying, um, this is the 2022 Subaru WRX. Um, I'm gonna probably be doing more videos on my channel for this car when I start customizing it. Um, after I get the tint for it, if you guys want to know anything else about the car um, that you know you think I may have left out. Um, just leave a comment down below. Like I said, um, I believe that the highway miles per gallon is like 26 to 28, or maybe I'm tripping on that. Maybe it's like 24 to 26. Um, regular miles per gallon, like for the city, is probably I think about 20 to 23, which it's the same miles per gallon as my Mercedes. Um, the tank's a little bit bigger. I think it's like a 16.6 .6 gallon tank. Um, premium gas you can put regular in it but if you want to have the performance of what this car can push then you need to put premium in it it is a manual um i know how to drive manual now after practicing i know it's weird like i said we test drove every car every car we test drove i did not drive myself i had my dad drive it and even after we finished test driving him and i were already on the same page like i had made up my mind after i sat in the subaru with these seats these seats are so comfy bro it's like they kind of hold you in and my mom's gt has like ricardo seats where it's like 
they they clamp you in. The only thing these don't have are like the lumbar seats where like you just have the buttons and they go forward, backward, up, down. I strictly just have the handle that you pull and then you just bring your seat forward and back and then you slide it forward and back on the bottom. Um, but I really don't actually mind that. I'm not too particular about my seat. The seats are, they do get warm though because you can actually, I actually have heated seats in this. Um, so I'm pretty grateful for that as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, every car we test drove was stick. I rode in the passenger seat. My dad and I were on the same page. Like, that WRX is it. You know, the only other car I would probably get, if I didn't get this car, I would probably be disappointed in myself for buying something I did not want. And that's what I'm going to say. If you're going to buy a car, buy what you want. Now, if it's too pricey, you know, find something else that you like just as much, but it's in your price range. Um, but if I didn't go with this, I would probably say I would have skipped over the Honda Civic Si, the Toyota Camry, the Hyundai Elantra. Well, nah, it would have probably been Hyundai Elantra in, not the in line, but the in, or the Acura Integra, which I've heard good things about the Acura, Acura Integra. I've heard bad things. You know, it doesn't really matter. But all in all, I am really happy with this um, Subaru WRX. Um, and yeah, it's just a good car. It's just a good car for real, for real. But I am going to start customizing it with like Cobb access port, spoiler, tent, the whole nine yards. But yeah, man, leave a comment down below what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know. And as always, it's been your boy Chad. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the recent subscribers. And I'm out. Peace.